brought to you by UCSD Recreation. Today we have a more moderate version of a flow lift class. Um, it's going to be a nice full body workout for you guys. We're ready to get started. Here we go. Starting at the top of our mats, we're going to start with some of those nice big deep breaths in. Arms up overhead, big exhale, arms down by your sides. Reach that left arm up overhead. As you reach that right arm down, we're really trying to get that right hand as close to the right knee as we can. Because we stretch that opposite arm up and overhead. We want to feel ourselves keeping those abs nice and engaged. I want you to feel like you're rotating and stretching against some muscular tension in the core. You should feel like a good stretch for those side muscles. Start squeezing those glutes, engaging those leg muscles as well. We're standing strong. One more side body stretch on each side. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Let's take those arms up overhead. And then we're going to bring the elbows out to the side. I want you to imagine that you're making a, a goal post with your arms. So the elbows are bent at 90 degrees. From here, we're just going to lower the palms down towards the floor. So all we're really doing is rotating through those elbows. And then back up, palms face forward. Getting right into the shoulders. Every move of the flow lift, you guys, is an ab move. So I want you to work on pushing the belly button back towards the spine, keeping those abdominal muscles engaged. We're moving with control. Nice and slow and controlled here. Palms face up, and then just rotate from the elbows, palms face down. Keep those elbows up at shoulder level. Five more reps. Those nice full post arms. Getting into those shoulders. Last two deep breaths as we go here, just get the shoulders warm. Palms face forward, both those arms. We're going to do that now just isolating one arm at a time. Palm faces down, palm faces forward. Switch arms, palm faces down, palm faces forward. We're here for a total of 10. So you guys can see from the front, palm faces down, palm faces forward, palm faces down. Now it's burning those shoulders. We're going to get one more on each side. And then we're going to reach those arms up overhead. Nice big stretch. And then a nice forward fold all the way down. Heel tilt your feet a little farther apart. Ragdoll pose. Just hugging those knees. Loosening up the back a little bit. Take a nice deep breath. Forward fold. Straighten those arms. Roll one vertebrae at a time. Tucking the chin to the chest all the way up. Take those arms up overhead. We're going to do a nice body weight tricep press. We're just bending at those elbows. Press those arms up overhead and squeeze into your arm muscles, squeezing into those triceps in the back. Lower the hands to the shoulders, star arms out, bring them back in, and then I want you to make a fist. So we're doing a bicep curl. Star arms out, bring them back in, arms up overhead. Pretend like you're holding a pair of weights. We're just doing nice body weight stuff right now. So when you do that bicep curl, squeeze into your own biceps. When you bring those star arms out to the side, squeeze your shoulders together in the back. Bring the fists back to your shoulders, up overhead, and then just bending at the elbows. When we straighten those arms, we're squeezing into the triceps, the backs of the arms. We're going to do this five more times through the sequence. Get those arms nice and warm. Again, we're standing tall. I want you to be squeezing your glutes so you have that nice base of support coming from your legs, and your abs are engaged as well. Nice deep breaths. As we go with this nice star arm sequence, tricep overhead press, nice deep breaths, getting back down just the same way we got up there. Bicep curl, arms out, bring it back in, push it up for that overhead tricep press. We're going to get one more time. Nice, curl it up, out, bring it back in, overhead tricep press. We're going to take it back down just the same way we got up here, finishing with opening our arms down by the sides. We're going to take it to the top of the mat. Arms up overhead, and then forward fold. I want you to halfway lift, flat back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then a forward fold all the way down. Plant the palms, step back into a high plank. We're just going to take it from a high to a low plank, just lower it all the way down, and then we're going to relax the feet, relax all the leg muscles. You're going to tent those fingertips on the floor, elbows point straight up, and we're doing our nice baby cobras, gently pressing our torso away from the floor. I want you to keep your eyes on the floor so we're not coming up and arching into our back. We're just gently pressing away. Nice deep breath. Just saying hello to the back. Just warming up the back of the floor. Inhales, exhales. Three more. Getting everything nice and warm. Taking your time. It's going to get faster. Again, those prayer hands. We're going to tuck that left elbow under our torso, prayer hands to heart center. We're just 
just opening into the back. We want to keep that right hip down, so we're creating a little bit of a twist by pushing that left elbow down into the floor, and I'm actively trying to keep that right hip down. So we get a gentle twist. One more deep breath. And then we're going to switch to the other side. Let's tuck the right elbow under our torso. Bring our hands, and now I'm going to keep the left hip down. So I'm creating a gentle twist again in my back, which is really nice and easy. Two deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more deep breath. We're going to bring it back into the center for our back extensions. Ex um, extend your legs back behind you. You're going to make a fist with your hands, interlacing your fingers, and then I want you to pull that fist away from the tailbone. So you're really getting a nice deep stretch into those shoulders, and we're lifting everything away from the floor. Again, eyes stay down, and I want you guys to be looking up here because that can strain your neck. So just keep the eyes looking down. Breathe into the shoulders, and then roll it onto the left side. So we're going to get a little deeper into that left shoulder. Point your toes, keep your legs flexed, squeeze your glutes, pull the fist away from your tailbone. Deep breath, roll it back onto your side. Pull it up. Again, nice and gentle, nice and controlled. Roll it over onto the right shoulder. Pull the fist away from your tailbone. Squeeze your glutes, point your toes. Deep breath. And then back through the center for one more time. Nice big stretch. And then release everything. We're going to come back into another back extension. Lift the head, neck, shoulders, arms, and legs away from the floor. Keep your elbows bent. Extend your right arm forward. And then squeezing your shoulder blade, bring that right elbow back towards your rib cage. Same thing with that left arm. We're going to alternate arms, pushing and pulling. Every time you bring the elbow back towards your rib cage, you're squeezing your shoulder blades. We're going to do 10 of these, 10 total. Keep breathing in that back extension. Lift those quads away from the floor. Five more. Big squeeze. Lift the quads as high away from the floor as you can. Point your toes. Don't forget about those legs. One more. Big squeeze. And then we're going to take it back down. Hands outside of your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift your kneecaps. And then we're going to push away from the floor. From this position, we're going to open up into a right side plank. So I'm rotating onto the knife edges of my feet. My left hand stays right under my left shoulder. Open up into that side plank. Rotate back onto the toes. Drop down onto your right elbow. And then tap the right toes as far away from you as you can. Rotate back into that open side plank. Drop down onto your right elbow and tap those right toes. We're doing this 10 times. Start slow, get comfortable with the move, and then start building some speed. Rotate onto the edges of the feet, rotate onto the toes, drop down to the elbow, and tap it out. Last two. From the side plank, Come into a nice high plank up on those toes, and then hips up into your down dog. Deep breath here. Maybe you bicycle pedal your heels a few times. One heel down towards the floor, then the other. Then stretching both heels down towards the floor. We're going to raise that right leg nice and high. We're going to shift forward, drop down onto your right hip, and hook that left heel back towards your glute. Three-legged dog. Right leg high, right hip down. And hook it back. Here we go. Ten reps. When we're on our right hip and we're hooking that left heel back, you want to feel your left butt cheek engage. So that's with control. Okay? Everything we're doing, we want to feel our muscles engage. Five more. Three-legged dog, right leg high. That right leg is going to step through, and now we're coming down into a lunge. From this position, we're going to do those taps under, and then we're going to raise our arms up as we're stepping out of that lunge and tap overhead. Challenge yourself to just barely touch the floor with that back knee. Tap under, then tap over. Nice deep breaths. Five more. Get ready to balance on that right leg. As soon as we come out of this lunge, we're going to be balancing on that right side. Last two. Balance up. Tuck the left knee in towards your chest. And then we're going to bring it down into a standing split stretch. Try to get your right nose as close to your right knee as you can. And we're going to do those pulses. Flexing into the right foot. So 
excuse me, the left foot, the left heel is going to pulse up towards the ceiling. Keep that left leg straight. We want to feel a nice burn in the back of that left leg and that left glute. Three more. <sighs> left foot down. From this position, I like to turn onto the side of my mat so I have all this room to work. You're going to start in a low squat. You're going to keep it low. I want you to imagine you have a ceiling right above your head so I can never stand all the way up. I have to stay low. From the squat, I'm going to pivot into a lunge. I want to keep this back knee close to the floor but not pressing on the floor. And then I'm going to press that same side arm up over my head. Back through the squat, staying low, pivot into the opposite side lunge and press. So whenever knee is down, that arm is pressing up. We're going to do 20 total lunges. We're counting the lunges. Here we go. Through the squat, lunge and press. Through the squat, lunge and press. You got to stay low. If your legs burn, you know it's working. Ten more. Keep it low. Nice work, you guys. Last five. Pivot through that squat. Back into that lunge. One more time. Lunge and then step forward to the top of the mat. From here, we're going to squat down. In the squat, we want to keep the weight back in the heels and the chest lifted. When we stand up in the squat, we're going to press up onto our tiptoes. So it's like we're getting a little calf raise in there. Squat down, weight in your heels, up onto the toes, and squeeze the glutes. 20 of these squats. Deep squat to a heel raise. So we're coming up on those toes. Inhale down, exhale up. Chest lifted, weight back in the heels on the squat. 10 more. Coming up onto those tiptoes at the top. Nice. Nice low squats. Up on the toes. Five more. Exhale at the top. We're going to hold this next one nice and low. And then we're doing our squat walks. Two laps. Keep your chest lifted. Weight back to your heels. Keep it low. We've got two laps. Down the length of the mat. And then back. One more time. Woo! Stay low. The lower you go, the more it burns. That means it's working. That's okay. Bring it back to the top of the mat. Press all the way up out of that squat and then forward fold. Shake it out a little bit. Halfway lift, flat backs. Use your shoulder blades. Forward fold. We're going to go high to low plank for our first vinyasa. High to low plank. Up dog to down dog. From this down dog, raise that right leg high. We're going, excuse me, we're going to raise that left leg high. We're going to drop down onto the left hip and then hook that right heel back. So by now, you're probably catching on. Everything we do on the right side, we're going to do it on the left. So you always have that opportunity to practice the move again. So you get familiar with that. Three legged dog, drop to the left hip, hook the right heel back towards your glute. Five more. Left hip down. Hook it back with control. Keep breathing. Last two. Woo. Three legged dog, left leg high. Left leg is going to step through. Drop that right knee down. And we're going to do it again. I call this a snow angel, okay? So it's almost like you're drawing a snow angel in the air with those arms. Tap the back knee and stand, tapping the hands under you. Tapping them up overhead. Ten total. We're going to do five more. Woo! Last one. We're going to balance on that left leg, tuck the right knee, and then slowly with control, fingertips to the floor. Stretch it out in a standing split stretch for just a few seconds. I'm imagining that I want to get my left nose, my left nose, my only nose to my left knee. And then from here, I'm going to flex the right toes. Hanging out in that split position, I'm now pulsing the right heel up towards the ceiling. Feeling it in the glutes. Five more. Woo! Let's plant that right foot down. From here, we're going to get into a squat. Hands under your fist. Hands under your chin. Make fists with your hands, okay? So another perfect squat position. Weight in the heels. Chest lifted. As we're coming out, of this squat, you're going to turn and pivot up on the left toes, squeeze your glutes, 
and throw that left fist overhead with control. Your hips are tucked, your glutes are squeezed, your abs are engaged. Down and shoulder squat. Pivot up onto the right toes, squeeze your glutes. Punch that right arm up into the air. We've got 20 squat punches. Here we go. Deep squat. Strong punch. Exhale at the top. Squeeze the glutes. As you're squeezing the glutes at the top, also flex into your abs, nice and strong. 10 more. Don't forget to get up on those outside toes. Feel it in your glutes. Feel it in your abs. Five more. Deep squat. Strong punch at the top. Last two. Last one. Drop that right heel down. Heel toe the feet a little closer together. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Flat back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Forward fold. Take it through your vinyasa. High heel plank. Up dog. Big stretch. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Deep breath. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips. Down dog. Take a moment here in your down dog. Bicycle pedal those feet. Take a few deep breaths. Collect your thoughts. Maybe shake your head yes or no. Woo. From this position, three legged dog, raise that right leg high. We're going to bring that right leg, uh, we're going to bring that right knee down, excuse me, and then bring that left leg all the way through. But instead of stepping straight out, we're now going to step out in an angled lunge. So I'm getting more of that adductor, that inner thigh, and my arms are going to follow that direction. So we're going to do a nice side lunge stretch, okay? Three legged dog, right leg high. Right knee down, just under that right hip. Step forward and almost to the left corner of your mat with that left foot, reaching into that nice deep lunge stretch to the side. We've got 10 of these. Right knee high, right knee down. Step out to the left, a little angle lunge stretch. Nice deep breath, really enjoy the stretch. The lift gets pretty fast, so when we have these little stretch opportunities built in, really enjoy them. Nice deep breaths, five more. Right knee down, left leg out to the left, lunge stretch. Use that breath. Last three. Nice and control. One more time. From this position, right leg high, I want you just to step back into a down dog and then we're going to bring it onto hands and knees. We're going to practice something called pinwheel legs, okay? So you're going to make your legs come into the shape of a pinwheel, okay? I want you to keep your left hip parallel to the top of the mat, and then you're going to bring your right shin in line with your left leg, keeping both of those feet flexed in. What we're going to do here is we're going to bring that left hip off of the floor as we kick out with control through that right heel. Bring it back down through the pinwheel, pivot, and then you're coming up into a glute bridge. Squeeze your glutes, okay? Press that right arm up overhead. Back down. Again, through the pinwheel. Lift the bottom hip away from the floor. Kick out with control. Through that right heel. We're going to do 15 of these into the glute bridge. Here we go. Forward kick. Windmill. Glute bridge. Up. Back through the windmill. Kick it out with control. Use your breath. When you're doing that kick, you're kicking through the heel. Imagine that you're trying to kick down a door. So it's very controlled. Another thing I want to challenge you guys to do here is to keep your right hand off the floor the whole time. So even when you're coming through this kick, you're not putting that right hand down. So you're using more of your abs. Through the windmill. Windmill, pinwheel. Kick it out. Four more. Pinwheel down. Kick with control. You're using a ton of abs when you're doing that kick. And I want you to feel it in your glute as you're kicking out through the heel. Last one. Pinwheel. Kick, pinwheel, glute bridge. I want you to get back onto your hands and knees. And from here, we're going to, I'm just going to adjust my mat really quickly. We're going to get into a hands and knees position. So I want you to make sure that the hands are under the shoulders and the knees are under the hips. You're going to kick your left um, heel up towards the ceiling. You see what I'm keeping my left knee bent? We want to keep the left foot flexed and the left knee bent. We're going to drop our chest close to the floor. We want to feel this in that left side of our glute, okay? Then drop the left knee back down under the left hip. Do the same thing with the right leg, but now we're going to step through into a lunge. From this lunge, if you have your back toes tucked, you're just going to pulse it up. Just get that back knee barely off the floor. Take it back down, hands and knees. 
Control kick with the left. Control kick with the right. Step it through. Lunge pulse. When you do this step through, you're using your abs to balance. And I know that lunge seems really small, but it's a small pulse and it's nice and deep. It's that deep burn with that little movement. Little pulse. We've got 15 reps of these total. Make sure everything is nice and controlled. Work on getting the move first, build confidence in the move, and then you can add your speed. Okay, we want everything to be nice and controlled. Not so fast that we're doing everything kind of all out of control. We want to feel all of our muscles working together. Glute, glute, abs, legs. Four more. Use that breath. Woo! A little bit of a booty burn. Last two. Pulse it up one more time. Pulse it up. Take it back down. Bring your hands and knees. Tuck your toes. Down dog. Right leg high. Right leg steps through. We're going to come down into a lunge. From this position, you're going to take your right, um, excuse me, your left hand to your left shoulder. And from here, when we're coming out of the lunge, we're going to reach that arm straight up overhead. Okay? So we're matching the press on the leg with the press on the arm. With the left knee down, the left arm comes up overhead. Nice. Reaching like you're trying to stretch up towards the ceiling. We want to get that left bicep right outside of that left ear. Two more. And then get ready to balance. We're going to get back to those tucks, those kickbacks. So you're squeezing into the backs of your arms. You're squeezing into that left glute. Controlling through the core. Ten total kickbacks. Oops. Hold that balance. Woo! Last three. Hold at the top of the mat. Left foot down. Right ankle crosses over. Left knee. Sit back and down like you're sitting in a chair. So you're getting a little bit of a stretch on that right side. Then we're going to take our hands together. Elbows up at shoulder level. And then you're going to open those palms and open those elbows out. Squeezing your shoulder blades together in the back. Hold the figure four stretch as you do those cactus arms. So you get a little bit of shoulder work. Squeeze the shoulders, and a little bit of a stretch on that right hip. A total of 10 cactus arms. Woo! Right foot back down, we're going to forward fold, and then halfway lift, flat back. Forward fold, we're going to take it through the same sequence. Hopper step back into your high plank, high to low plank, up to down dog. We're going to raise that left leg high, shoot forward, Left knee down under the left hip. Now the right foot is going to step to the right top corner of the mat for that side lunge. Open those arms out to the side and stretch. Three-legged dog. Left knee down. Right leg out to the right. Open up into that lunge stretch. Here we go. Ten total. Big stretch. Take some nice deep breaths in that stretch. We're going to do five more. Stretch forward. So we started slow, now we're getting a little fast, a little hot. Big stretch one more time. Whew, back to that three legged dog. Left leg high. Take it just back into that down dog, and then we're going to get down onto our hands and knees. From this position, we're going to do the same sequence. I'm going to flip this way so you can see everything. Right hip parallel to the top of the mat. So again, we're making that pinwheel with our legs. If my right hip is parallel to the top of the mat, then my left shin is coming into a straight line with that right foot. We're going to get that right hip away from the floor, kicking with control out through that left heel. Again, challenge yourselves to not put that left hand down on the floor, okay? Back through the pinwheel, rotate onto your tailbone, glute bridge. When we do the glute bridge, we're pushing through our heels. We're not up on our toes, okay? We're driving through the heels and squeezing the glutes. Take it back down through your windmill legs. Kick out with the heel with control. Windmill the legs, glute bridge. We're here for a total of 15. Again, watch the movements. Feel confident in your ability to do these movements before you add speed. Nice. So we're going to make sure we're doing everything as controlled as we can. That's for your benefit. That's so you get the most out of the workout. Nice 
work, nice work. Five more. Control kick, windmill, glute bridge, windmill, kick. Last one. We bridge, and then we're going to get back onto the hands and knees. Now we're going to do our controlled kick. First, this time, the right heel kicks up as I drop my chest down to the floor. I want to feel my right glute engaged. Then the left. Then balance, step through, and pulse. We're here for 15. We're going to turn it up a little bit on this round, you guys. Adding some of that speed in there. Kick, kick, step through, lunge. Balancing into that lunge. Just pulsing that back knee. Really, really barely getting it off the floor. Feeling that deep burn. Nice. Speeding it up a little bit. Getting more of that cardio moving fast. That's where we really feel that it's a nice full body workout. Five more. Kick, kick, lunge, pulse. Nice. Last two. Lunge, pulse. And then we're going to take it back down from that hands and knees position. Tuck the toes. Come into your down dog. Left leg, three-legged dog, left leg high. Left leg is going to step through. From the lunge, you're going to take your right fist to your right shoulder. Make sure those back toes are tucked under you. You're going to press out of the lunge and extend that right arm straight up overhead. Remember that we're trying to get the right bicep directly outside into the air so you're not pushing forward. You're pushing up. A total of 10. Five more. Stay balanced. Ready to soar forward. Tuck your fist in towards your shoulders. Engage that core and then we're kicking back through the triceps. Through that right glute. We've got 10 total kickbacks here. Five more. Woo, my left glute is burning. Hold on, you guys, last two. Nice, set that right foot down. We're gonna get a little bit of a stretch here. Figure four, cross the left, left ankle over the right knee. Palms together, elbows up. And then open those palms to face the floor. Squeezing your shoulder blades for some cactus arms. 10 of these cactus arms as you hold that stretch. Plant that left foot back down. We're going to take it down into a nice deep yoga stretch. If you are more flexible than me, and you can take it into a nice deep yoga stretch, and you can do some back binding here. Take your time. Take a couple of deep breaths. I want you guys to make sure that you're pushing your knees out. Chest is lifted. We're stretching the back. It's a deep stretch. And then we're just going to gently lower onto our tailbones. From here, a little bit of supine twist. So bend both of your knees, keep the left knee down, cross the right ankle onto the left knee, and then bring both knees down to the side. So here, I'm trying to keep my left shoulder down. I'm stretching my left IT band, then a little bit of the back. I'm breathing deeply into that stretch for the hip, for the IT band, for the back. Use your abs, keep your knees crossed just like they are. Bring these guys back into that figure four, and then bridge your hips, kind of pointing your right knee down. One or two deep breaths here for the hip. Lower everything back down and then switch. Right foot down, left ankle over right knee, and then gently taking that figure four over to the side. Keep that right shoulder down, breathe into the stretch. Use your abs, get those knees back into the center. Keep the left ankle crossed over the right knee, now bridge the hips. Maybe you encourage that left knee down towards the floor. Breathe into it. Take the hips all the way back down. Curl up into a tight little ball. Bring your knees together. Bring your knees in towards your forehead. Create as much tension in your body as you can. Tension, 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 squeeze, and then release. Find a nice relaxation pose. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. You can enjoy this relaxation for as long as you need to. When you're done with the relaxation, Roll onto one side, fetal position, and then gently make your way up to a seated position. We're going to finish with a nice long stay. Thank you guys, and we'll see you for the next.